Uh, so I feel that many people came for a very different reason in this festival. So why, uh, what, what made you came in the festival? I can go first. I um, I've been coming to the big festival for a long time, um, and thought about coming to this festival three years ago when it started up. Um, then it was because I was a big Casey Donovan fan, a big teenager at mid um, and but I've watched this festival, you know, over the last couple of years, and thought it'd be really good to come this year to this festival. I think I think there's a place for a festival like this, a celebration of everything arts and, and culture. And what, do, what do you find that uh, that, that leads you? I don't know, it's meeting people or the, the, the different show, the at, the, uh, the atmosphere. The... All of the above. Yes, yeah. all of the above. I like. Um, I've been coming to the the big festival for a long time, and that's getting so big now. To one of the things I've really enjoyed that is that this is much smaller and. If we talk to more people, some of the things I liked when I first started coming to Woodford Festival about it feeling free and easy and children around and children without their parents close by, so children feeling free to, to get around and do their business too. I have one question because more well, here there is a, a big thematic about the Aboriginal culture. For me, it's very new. So, if if, if, if you would define uh, the Aboriginal culture right now in Australia, uh, how would you? So that one at you. <laughs> the serious and the funny one. I think what's important about living in Australia is that um, you know the Aboriginal culture is the oldest culture in the world, and so if the spirit of those people has been stomping this land for for as long as ever then we are lucky to live in a place where you know, the dust on your feet is filled with spirit and that's what's important for Australians to know. If they had um, some respect for that stuff, um, I, I think it would be nice if, it, um, if there's a point in Australian history where instead of people uh, passing Aboriginal people and saying, oh, there goes if they if they start to go, there goes Australia's first people and see that as a as a, um, a heroic thing, I think that would be a good thing. I don't know, you can't define Aboriginal culture, it's about belonging to your land and your country and, and knowing that, knowing the, the obligations you have to that. Do you feel I, know, I, I was just saying that, and one of the, when I first came to Australia, I, I grew up in Europe too, I grew up in England, and um, I had a lot, a lot of mixed feelings about coming to Australia. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, please because of the history of Australia, the racist history of Australia, uh, and um, you know, I, in my teenage years, I've been a young lefty who protested about apartheid and stuff. I had this, this desire to come to this country, which, uh, you know, as far from that distance, to, or what I could see was that the situation here was very similar, and, um, and so it's always been important for me living in this country to. The concept of paying the rent has been one of my kind of core drivers about living in this country, that if I'm going to be walking on other people's land then I need to acknowledge that and um, know the stories of the land, know the stories of the people and, and, and know what it is that I'm uh, sharing. Yeah. Do, do you feel, a, uh, do you feel uh, some Aboriginal in you? I am Aboriginal, Gamoroi woman. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> but I'm not from here. This time I'm a visitor here along with all of you. So yeah. Um land, isn't it? So it's, it's in, different. In, 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 the, in what way the, the traditional uh, culture uh, takes a role in, in your life? Um, it's, it's just about how, it's the same as, as everyone does. You know, I, I value family and I value my country and I value um, the life of it in terms of its spirit and the refurbishment and the stuff that that you know, requires. Um, in terms of, you know, they get lots of samples of traditional life in terms of art and craft and whatever, but that's not, you know, it's a belief system about the dreaming and Couldn't how that is ever present in your present life and, you know, the, Couldn't you know, how Hello, hello. How you, you know, your culture 
what you wear and you know, do the dances of today is really not the relevant thing. It's your belief system, your value system, the value system. Yeah, yes. your manners, protocol. That's what's that's what's important. That's how cultures carry. So I have a last West question. Is uh, if you have a message to pass to our Aboriginal and our Aboriginal children, what would it be? Well, be proud of yourselves. You know. And then being happy that you come from Australia's first people, I don't think you can get luckier than that. Yeah. In a lucky country. Thank you very much. Thanks. Oh, Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks very much. I get emotional and stuff like that. Thank you. Yeah, it's emotional. I'm not surprised.